Anyway, I know, improper lighting, but guess what? It showed up, and so I'm going to open this up. I don't even have a knife. I'm going to use an Allen key to try to get into this box. Oh, boy. It sounded, it sounded better in my head that this would work, right? So, what we have here is a failure to get this box open. Let me find something a little sharper, maybe. Maybe just a little... Hang on. Bear with me. Maybe something just a little easier. Oh boy, look out, Rod. So this comes at a perfect time because this should be... If you guys remember right, Jay, this is all on you, buddy. Jay told me about this reel a while back and then kept mentioning it every time we talked about reels, which is almost daily. I don't know why I can't tear that. So anyway, as I destroy this box, give me one minute here. Off camera, I'm gonna get a little crazy. I'll keep talking. So all the way, fresh out of China, not straight out of Japan, we have what I've heard, and I've watched uh, one, maybe one, maybe two unboxings of this reel already. And it comes with like an excellent box from what I've seen. Watch mine be a poly jump. All right, hang on, let me cut this. One more minute. I know, the suspense is killing me too. That's why I couldn't wait till I got in a better spot to do this live unboxing, because I'm like, I want to open it up. I want to look at it, I want to see it, I want to feel it, I want to touch it, right? You guys heard that before, that's what she said. I know, old jokes, dad jokes, right? Grandpa jokes, whatever. And you know, that old Swiss Army knife of mine, it's out, it's out in the truck, I could go grab it. I used to carry it in my pocket and I got tired of carrying, I got made fun of for carrying so much stuff in my pockets. But the only reason I have this rod with me, and we're gonna talk about that in a minute, I just, Oh look, a freebie. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Joy Joe Bug 2.5 inch. Guaranteed that will catch fish. So awesome little gift. Look at this box. This is what, oh wow, this thing feels heavy. Look, let's just take a minute. Let's, here, hang on, let's clear off. Let's get everything else out of the view of this beautiful, get, oh my God. Okay, what is that? A washer for an RC car. Let's get everything, look at that box. Oh, it's upside down, oh my God. Look at it now, just look at it. This thing, oh wow, it's like what nice stuff comes in. Yeah, I know. The box is insane. This, is, in case you guys are wondering, like, what the heck is this guy talking about? The Arise Reel comes from AliExpress. I got it on sale for 125. It's like normally 134 if you check around. But I've heard stories. I've heard rumors. It is 100% guaranteed to be made in China. But if you follow this channel and several other YouTubers, you're finding out that you know what? Well, we knew for years, right? You look on the back, of something made in China. A lot of stuff comes out of China is very good stuff. So I've heard the rumor, look at that box. It's just like, it's like one of those trick boxes, right? You guys see that movie, the onion movie, whatever. What movie is I thinking of? Anyway, there's some other stuff in there. We're not gonna worry about that right now. That box is insane though. Let's get to the real. And I might show, oh wow. Nice neoprene case, how about that? That looks nice too. I should do a complete unboxing with a higher quality camera than my phone. That phone will not focus on that. It focuses and then it goes away. That looks very nice. Hey Bo, Battle of Fish. So, let's wait no further. Oh, wow, you know what? Jay, you may have been right. Maybe Jay. I still can't give Jay credit yet. This reel 
right off the bat, I felt Shimano like uh, knobs. I was just up at Rogers trying to find reels that I like on this rod. Okay, so I just, I'll tell you what I had in my hand like not probably a half hour ago, maybe. I was holding the Metanium, newest version of the Metanium, not the Shellless Bull, uh, newest version of the Bantam, the standard Steez, not the A, just the regular Steez, uh, the old school Zillion, the Zillion 10, uh, the brand new one coming from uh, Lou's, that, uh, the purple one. I didn't hold the Elite, but they're the same exact reel size wise. So I just was holding a bunch of reels and trying them out on that rod that I'm getting ready to try them out on. I'll tell you about that more later. But this reel, and it's heavy. It feels like, uh, and I, it honestly feels close to like what the Bantam feels probably. I think it's supposed to be seven something. It feels closer to the Bantam that I held weight wise than any other reel. Let me see. I haven't tried the drag click right here, and I've seen in pictures. I, I don't think I've watched any un, anybody unbox this that actually tested the drag clicker, though. This thing definitely has a... What's funny is I look at it, and I can see every manufactured reel from different companies in this reel. Like I see Abu Garcia, Shimano, Daiwa which Lou's and the Lou's thing, how Lou's has their deal right there, Abby Garcia coming from the same factory. Look at that. It does have a drag clicker. Now I believe this is the style I talked about. It's got the arm coming out, not the little uh, thimble thing with the spring. Sounds good. Oh boy. Look at that. A lot of times you can just tell by how far you can turn that back and forth and how long it takes to click to how decent a quality the clicker is. Some of them take forever. Like you'll be going this way and you're like, oh, I want to go back. And you may turn it what feels like almost a quarter turn before you hear that click again. So that, so far, everything feels good. Uh, and if you guys remember right, I'm not trying to knock Shimano, but I was up there filling the Metanium and the Bantams and stuff. And you've heard me talk about it before. My Aldebaran 22 had a resistance. Smoothness in all those Shimanos, but they have a resistance. And every new Shimano I've felt, it's in them. This reel does not have that, which no reel should. And I'm pretty sure the Shimano's is because they've went with a uh, plastic worm gear. I don't know what material other than to call it plastic. It's not metal. It's not a hardened aluminum, hard anodized aluminum, basically. The outer coating is made to last more than anything. So anyway, I'm just telling you guys, I'm... The looks, the feel, I'm impressed with other than possibly the weight. I'll just have to see if I which I'm not a big weight snob like I used to be. I used to be horrible. If I felt this, I'd just throw it in the trash. But it... It has like steez like colors, but that's really the only... Like the steez I was just holding as far as weight, the way it splays out, you know, gets wide up front. This doesn't... The front, very front, sort of does, but this part, eh, not a lot. And the more than, if you guys have seen the uh, die with more than, kind of has cutouts like this with the carbon fiber under it. And kind of the more than deal going on here. So you can see there's a, this lighting is horrible. And the more than kind of has this also look to it. So I think they were trying to, I think they were trying to make it look more like a Daiwa than anything else. I think they were trying to copy some of that higher end Daiwa stuff, that specialty reel if you ask my opinion, in the more than, but then also give it a steezy kind of feel to where they couldn't really get stuck with saying, oh, they copied that reel or this reel exactly. Now, I'll be honest, these knobs, and that's 
Well, that's the way my uh, Zillion comes, but Shimano's are the first ones that had these, and I don't like them. They feel too flat. I know that they actually work good, they grip good, but just like the, the paddle knobs that Lou's had and then dial with some of your reels have, I don't like those either. You guys have seen the knobs I like. This, uh, this would have been better off if they'd have left it either a very light anodized gray color or something. That black looks ridiculous. Like this black and this black, I do not like. The rest of it isn't bad. Shiny black anodized parts, I just think, don't look good to me. And the drag star, I don't know what it is about it. I think that it's not, it actually is made very good. And I'm sorry for the lighting. I'm not really sorry for the lighting. Sorry, not sorry, but I'm sorry for myself. I can't even, like, if I try to look through at the phone, I'm like, God, it's not the greatest quality in the world. I would honestly say, though, in person, it looks better than what you've seen pics on AliExpress or any videos. This video right here, especially. <laughs> when I look over the viewfinder thing and look at it, it looks way better than when I'm looking at it through here. If you look at the new Metanium, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I know all of them I've looked at new, like up at Rogers and uh, Aldebaran I have. Right in there, you see that metally looking worm gear? That is metal on almost every reel. Even the cheapest AliExpress ones you'll find almost. Everybody's decided to go with the aluminum one. And Shimano, I don't know why, but... Most, if not all, of their newer reels, they've decided to go with the plastic. Now, I've heard, I don't, I haven't had an issue, and I haven't heard, other than one YouTuber, I've heard him talk about, he's heard there's uh, guys having issues, and he had an issue with his, gets stuck every once in a while. I'm blaming that little part of maybe the resistance feel that I feel in the Shimano's I feel on that. I'm not saying it won't work fine throughout, but it's, it's one of two things. It's either that or it's just the tolerances on their anti-reverse are so tight that you, you're going to have to use a new reel for a long time, which may be fine, and it may be actually better in the long run over any of the other reels. I'm just saying it's something you feel when you pull one out of the box and you turn it like this, like I'm feeling right here. This feels, and I don't have another reel here to compare it to, but the ones I was up there filling at Rogers, and you know, you guys know me, I fill my reels a lot, right? Anyway, feels good. I don't hear any gearing noises, I don't feel any noises, and I got the seven to one, you can tell by the gold, the eight to one's purple, and then uh, I think it's just regular, like silver is a six to one. So who wants to tear this thing apart? I really don't have a, oh boy, hang on. That thing is probably dirtier than the table is. So there's your release down here. I don't know if I like that or not. It kind of reminds me of the new Lose. I've, I've talked about it in the video. The new Lose actually I think sticks out too far to where something could hit it and it pops off real easy, but that's similar to that. Should just slide right out. Now I'm very interested to get into these, uh, testing this out. Now Jay claims, Jay, I'm throwing you out here, buddy. I'm throwing you under the bus if I hate this reel. But Jay said that this reel, uh, will I want to say it was a half ounce plug or something he was casting, will beat all of his other reels. And he has, uh, he doesn't have the zillion, which, but if the, it says he has metanium and steez and stuff, and, and it'll outcast them. So I'm going to be looking forward to this weekend. Uh, probably won't be able to do it. Definitely not tonight. I'm actually headed out to go to the gym. It's going to be dark. It's already starting to get dark here. And tomorrow, I don't know if I'd have time to do it. But for sure this weekend, no matter how cold, rain, sleet, snow, or whatever, which is supposed to be not horrible, I'm going to get out and do some test casting with this. I'm, I haven't decided what rod I want to put it on. Maybe I'll just try it on a couple different rods. So if you're not familiar with this, I'll tell you real quick. These are sort of a combination copy of 
Daiwa and Shimano. You guys have seen that probably. So basically you have the FTB style started this up, putting the brakes, but these are actually, they're on the outside to where the FTBs are like up and they go on the inside of the spool. They're not on this inductor rotor or whatever you want to call that. So they kind of did that, but then they also had Daiwa because they do have an inductor rotor, but it, it, it doesn't spring in and out like a Daiwa does. So what you would say is this part, it's adjustable, but it's not dynamic like Daiwa. Now, why they can't also do that and have it going both, like, I don't know. I would like to see that to where this actually moves and that moves like crazy amounts of adjustments you could kind of do or springs you could switch out, you know, like you could go insane. So anyway, I'm looking and in the lighting, I can't really tell how I'm supposed to tell where this needs to go because you have one, two, and three. You have different settings. To adjust that and I'm trying to see what where the mark is so they can tell me which way to go so you just push it down you push down turn it and set it so and you don't really need the settings because if you turn it and let it pop in there and it's all the way in that's as uh, less brakes as you'll have and you turn it a little more it comes out and you turn it a little more oh wait wait a minute Okay, so one, that's the least, there's some there, and then that's full as much brakes as you can get. So to start out, you probably want to start, we'll give it as much brakes as you can and then adjust this adjuster here, which is going to let you bring these closer or further away. Now, I'm kind of... That thing turns a long way. Wow. That thing, that dog goes a long way. Well, let's just see, because I don't really, is this part actually truly dynamic or not? Let's see. See, I don't think, I don't know. I don't see that thing moving. Let's go back the other way. So that's all the way, one way that it'll go. Oh, they're going in and out. They're not going this way. They're going in and out. So that way was all the way in. This is all the way further away this way from the... So then the Shimano's are adjustable this way and the uh, all the knockoff FTBs kind of deal. These, the magnets go in and out. And so that tells me they don't... So they don't move in and out. So what what I gather, unless I'm missing something, this is a, a non-dynamic system. There's no part of this that that mag force, whatever you adjust it to, there's several, there's a lot of adjustment because that dial goes a long way and then each setting. If anything, what I compare this to is if say you had the Daiwa a fixed inductor spool in a reel that had the mag force uh, 3d type setting kind of thing basically so you got three different settings in here but then you got this whole range in between those three different settings so i don't even know how many th times that thing clicked but like insane amount so let's see I counted 42. So if, wow, just say 40, 40 times three, right? 120 different settings, like just by the clicks, like click, click, click in between each one of just a fine tune. If, if you're that guy that wants to fine tune one little specific weight, size, bait, and throw it, this would definitely be a reel for you. How well will it work though? We don't know. We don't know, Jay. Jay swears by this reel. I have no idea where I just have it set. So let's check the thumb. Let's reel test it. 
real chest is obsessed with thumb bars. I mean, I, I am too, other than I just like them to ride kind of high. And I'm actually, what I'm more worried about is some of them are too easy or too hard to re-engage. Like you definitely don't want, want one too easy. You know, you want a good solid fill, but some of them just have too, like this one, if anything, it's real firm. So it's, if you would call it one thing, it would be too firm. Not, it's definitely gonna, shouldn't have an issue with it engaging, you know, accidentally. I like that. It's got a little bit of a grip type cutout on it. I think it's just a one solid piece of plastic with a different, you know, the way it's molded, which is fine. I don't know why they don't do that on more, just to give you a little something there. But yeah, so far, I am definitely impressed with the box and the reel. But this is uh, for $125. I mean, as long as it casts pretty good. So this is one of those, like, uh, if you guys know the, it has nothing to do with this reel, but just me in general thinking about doing away with my, oh, that sound sounds good. Doing away with the whole single lifestyle, I would try to pop these ends off and put a, look at that X. That actually, I don't really care for these knobs at all, but that X pattern is probably the coolest one of, ones of these I've seen. Look at that. I don't know if anybody's even talked about that. Like... Abu has their little flag thing. Shimano and Daiwas have their little cutout, but that thing looks cool. I think I like that better than any of them I've seen on these little flat uh, knobs. Just looks good. I don't care for the handle itself, the color. I think the shape isn't bad. I don't know. It's kind of probably 85 millimeter. I don't even know. The drag star, I can't tell if I like that. See how far arched in and... I just can't tell. I have to compare it to some of mine. But you know me. I'll probably try to fit a gold star for sure. And then, I don't know. I think I'm going to like this reel. So now, let's talk about something else. Okay, the reel unboxing is done. I probably won't talk too much about this, other, this reel other than how the palming feel is. So stick around if you want. But So let's jump to my venture at Rogers because... You guys know I love this carbon light rod, right? And I've bought three more, but this is definitely my favorite out of the whole lineup. Six foot nine, medium heavy, my go-to chatterbait rod, right? Uh, I talked about a little bit. The zillion, there's two reasons why the zillion on this rod, it makes me not like the zillion. Other than that, the zillion is still, the, it's my favorite uh, reel ever. But when you throw chatterbaits, that uh, T-wing system can kind of start to chatter a little bit can get annoying at times it's not a huge deal it's not a deal breaker but there's a other issue that i'm having and that's why i went up to rogers if you guys can make out can I your truck? for what they're blocking my car and i'll take them to the basketball game oh my god where's it at hang on time out do you know how to drive my truck yeah. don't kill my truck don't kill rug burn so anyway, I'm back. Never park behind somebody that want to borrow your vehicle because it's your gas money. Gas isn't too bad nowadays. So if you look, I know, you just get used to it. At Bass and Bonsai, if you're new to the channel, this kind of stuff happens all the time on live streams. You ought to see me when I'm drinking Fireball. But anyway, where this real seat here and here go are almost like straight and if you guys pay attention to some of yours a lot of them aren't like that the uh they'll push the reel up a little further which actually can kind of be good to get the uh, on this style the reel set back a little bit to, for more balance feel the problem is when i palm i palm like this and so what is happening with a lot of these reels it it's almost like it's pushing the reel back too far and it's pin it almost makes you want to start palming like this. Problem is then you have to do that with, you know, it throws you off like, right? So when I was up at Rogers Sporting Goods, up in Liberty, Kansas City, Missouri, I'm not associated with them, but shout out to Rogers. Definitely have more of a selection of quality uh, reels over Bass Pro. The local Bass Pro here, you get a lot of Johnny Moore stuff, which I'm not saying is bad stuff. 
But when you're called Bass Pro, you probably should have a lot of other stuff. So I'm going to just stick this one on there as I keep talking. I'm not going to shut up. If you guys want me to shut up, you're probably going to have to go watch Real Test or somebody. It ain't going to happen here, Bass and Bonsai. So let me put this on, and I'll try to show you if I can. So yeah, oh, wait a minute. Wait, let me feel that. I can't show you yet. This reel feels good. I'll be honest. This reel feels as good as there's two other reels that feel good up there at Roger Sporting Goods. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But if you can see, when I palm like this, I I like need a place like if it it wants to a lot of times put that finger throws it way far. It's like weird feeling. So this one, hang on. Let me get I can't answer now. I'm doing a live stream. Oh my god. I'm telling you guys. Welcome to my world. And it's just Thursday. Wait till the weekend. So yeah, this reel feels very good. I would say it palms. girl just calls me I decline it and then she says hello in a message so anyway she's probably asking me if I'm ready I got to get out of here but it palms probably as good as the Bantam except this is a touch higher than the Bantam it feels it, it kind of looks like a steez right it feels like the steez on here honestly it's not far off from the steez I'd have to put them side by side to tell the difference probably so stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to come up, up with another live stream tonight, probably when I get it beside my other reels, and we'll talk more about what I found up at Rogers. And if I will, I guess I'm going to wait and test this out, see if I want to buy more of these or want to jump into that Steve's market like I talked about. Because I'll be honest, up there, there's two reels that if I picked out for going for the carbon lights, it would be the Steve's, either an A or the standard Steve's, SB or the Shimano Bantam and actually the new one the darker color I know I said I didn't like it it's about not far from this color is looks awesome on the carbon light so stay tuned guys a lot more coming hopefully you like this I for $125 it's hard to go wrong but if you guys want to wait till I get it out and actually cast it and get it going like that feel free but right now I want to say that the cheapest store I found was $134 if you really want one message me I'll put the link up or send it to you or whatever but I may not do that till uh, tonight or tomorrow alright guys thanks for watching that box is insane we'll probably show the box again in the next live stream